Hi there. I'm going to show you how to um, find out what your settings are for a parent in uh, Infinite Campus, in Campus Parent, uh, that you can get notifications if your child is missing an assignment or if you want to see their grades on any assignments, how you can get notifications sent to your email or to your text, your phone text number. Um, here's how you do that. So I'm an Infinite Campus parent. If by chance you don't know how to get on to Infinite Campus as uh, through your parent account, you can contact Teresa Dial, D-Y-A-L. She's the district registrar. She's uh, located at John Muir School. She has an office there, and her phone number is 608-742-3715, and she can help you get that set up. So mine's already been set up. Um, I'm going to click log in. Um, this automatically just sends me to any announcements where my kid goes to school at the high school here, and I can check my inbox if I want. I want to go over here to this little symbol that ha is a person, and I'm going to click on settings. And then what we're interested in is notification settings. You can, you know, check all these if you want, but uh, the way the one where you can turn on or off different settings to get notified by the school district about your child's missing work, if any, or what their grades are on different assignments. Um, here's where you do that. So you click on notification settings. I have mine set to, um, if you click these boxes, they'll send you a notification whenever an assignment is scored, a grade is updated. I've got my lunch balance set to, if it gets lower than $10 in my kid's account, it'll send me a little message on my phone to make sure I add some more money to his account. Um, attendance updates there. These are slider bars, so if I only wanted to see anything that he got less than passing on, I could set it to 70% since that's the passing grade for high school classes. Um, I like to just see all of them though. And any updates and grades there. So once you have those set how you want, you go down to the bottom here and this is a save button. It's not showing up quite on my screen, but that blue button there. And then it tells me that my settings have been changed. If I wanna go back to see these other settings about my account, um, who to contact for different things and devices, that is where you can access those. This contact preferences is kind of nice because it has all your um, information about, do you want to be contacted by email or by phone number um, or text for several different things? And you can get that all set up. So thank you for watching. I hope that helped. Um, and you can keep an eye on your kid and how they're doing. Um, and if you're like me and busy and sometimes forget to just check on Infinite Campus, this just automatically sends the notifications right to my phone.